Hello and welcome back to Terraformcraft MP episode 2, I guess. And yeah, same recording session, just gathering some more wood. Mostly because I want to make a couple of buckets. And I really actually hate that bug. Because you can't really... I hear a skeleton, and I don't like that. Especially since I don't know where he is. I'm guessing he's probably somewhere up here. I really probably shouldn't be looking for one. Oh well, I still forgot about this bug. It's actually kind of interesting. Yeah, if you get a leaf that's directly touching a non-wood block, you can see through the world. Woohoo! And I don't think they'll ever be able to fix that. It's because uh, that happens when you get uh, suffocated as well, so it's a uh, vanilla uh, mechanic. But, at least everyone knows that there's suddenly a cave just, like, one block away. I think it's, like, right here, it was it? Okay, that scared the living... pretty much everything out of me. Ugh. Ugh, my heart. Personally, I feel like I'm having a heart attack. Yeah, well, I would have run into that eventually. We'll go now. I'll let them suffer. And eventually they'll despawn. Now, is this chestnut? Because that looks a lot like chestnut. That is chestnut. I'm going to keep these. Apparently this is a biome that spawns chestnut at random. actually good because chestnut's really good for uh building. <sighs> uh, I need quite a bit more wood still. I'm pretty sure I just saw a tree grow. Here there is just spawning into the background. really see the 
feel of this area. And I think that's hickory right down there. No, that's not hickory. That's chestnut. Oh. There's the chestnut forest I remember. I just love this stuff. Can't get enough of it. Now that it, uh, I see that it grows randomly, I'm even more happy. I think that's... That actually looks like a willow. Yeah. And there's the desert. Just beyond Chestnut Forest. And I don't know if there's a cave-in area right here. I don't know. I assume that every time I see this, I feel like it's going to be a cave-in area, so I'm kind of cautious when I see that. And I hear a... What's that? Anyone seeing that? I think that's normal. I hear a lot of stuff down there, so I'm kind of cautious. Then again, I do know that there's definitely a uh, cave nearby because I found one. I swear I didn't know that until I saw that. Oh, here's a new addition as of the last update. A very interesting flower. This stuff. When you break it, it gives nothing. But, that's not why it's there. It can only grow on clay. So pretty much, whenever you see that, you have found clay. Now usually it's not that much. But I've found vast fields, and I mean like literal fields of those flowers. And it's pretty impressive actually. In fact, what I'm going to do here is I now have, I now have markers. This will tell me that there is actually some stuff here. And you'll hear those skeletons dying forever because they never die. Literally, they cannot... Uh, suffocation damage is minimal. driving me mad, I have to deal with it. So I need to clear these trees regardless. I'm not too worried about uh, leaving any extra... I'm not looking for any real saplings right now because these are pretty common. more copper. Yeah, this is definitely a, uh, a copper area. So that shall be the symbol is I found some copper here so I'm going to put a mark like this. So I know that this area has copper in it, or any pretty much, or pretty much any ore. Uh, do I have any shovels left? No, I don't. Oh well. Luckily they still will despawn, it just takes a little bit more time. Uh, I'm just happy I got some uh, chestnut. Let's see. 
right here. Put this here, that, and get a bunch of ash planks. That's a barrel. Huh. Oh, wasn't it just like this? I do, however, need a barrel. Funny enough, I think it either stores water as well, or if not, it's just basically used for, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, making leather. This area looks... Oh yeah, I dug this out. That would explain it. I'm starting to get annoyed by this. You have to actually right click everything. You can't just like put it in like you would normally. It's ridiculous. Right click. Right click. Right click. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's no left click about it. It's ridiculous. And that I am almost guaranteed that's a bug. Can I get water out of this, though? I mm, guess not. Who cares? My main issue is that I need a farm going. Soybeans are one of the cheapest resources you can find just because of how many spawn per breaking. So I suggest if you're going to have a food source, make it soybeans or another really fast growing material. And for now, that marks the end of that. Let's do some inventory management. Chests. Still not the same. Oh well. They do, however, hold pretty much everything except for tools and tool heads. Certain tools can still be put away, but other than that, yeah, you're out of luck. I still have quite a bit of ash with me and some uh, aspen. Mm. I should have got more. And diorite is... I don't think it's one of the good ones. Actually, I think it might be one of the ones. I can't remember off the top of my head, so... Oh well. Regardless, I'm probably going to need to eat soon, and I don't think these are very filling. Hmm... What can I do here? First things first. I've already explained I'm going to keep using that bug until they fix it. <laughs> uh. Other than that, I need a couple more chests. And 
one should help. A lot of these builds are really buggy lately, so that's one of the reasons I haven't been really recording much. That's kind of sad, but gotta deal with it. Hmm. I need a couple more shovels and. I don't even know why I'm going to the crafting table for that anymore. I'm going to need quite a few shovels, actually, so I'm going to build a couple of them. Uh, let's say... Ooh, I want to have probably around four. Probably gonna need another axe because I was already wearing out this one. And there you go. Usually I would keep a couple more tool heads on me, but actually I can get more tool heads. Yeah, just don't place them down unless you're actually meaning to use them. The knife won't come in handy until a little bit later. Honestly, you should just be able to use a knife to shear sheep at a much lower percentage chance of getting wool than actually using shears. Just because in the old times, they used a knife. <laughs> so. I'll make one more shovel. I can't remember how many of these stack up to. I think that's only four. If not, yeah, it only stacks up to four, so. I forgot my sticks. Sticks are in here. Remember at one, at one point you could actually use bones to uh, act as handles, and honestly, a lot of uh, Older tribes actually used bones as handles. And honestly, bones are a little bit uh, stronger than wood. And I remember the build where they actually had a stick for every type of wood. That would become such a pain if you could actually see what... Uh, just the combinations of, what was it, uh, 21 usable metal, or tool metals, with, uh, I don't know, it's supposed to be like 21 times, I guess about 16, 336 different combinations per tool. So as you see, it starts getting ridiculous, and that's pretty much why they scrapped that, but... Oh well. Uh, right now, managing inventory is pretty much all I can do right now. And this shall be my... 
fuel source. Sealing is when you want to have like leather and such. Though, now that they have implemented barrels, I have no idea why they don't want to make like beers and such. I even saw that in uh, forums where you could actually do that, but it was just like a imitation. But yeah, I find it would be actually kind of interesting. But yeah, that's just an idea I've been kicking around for quite a while and hasn't really gotten any attention, so... Oh well. But we do have a... one of the best charcoal starting... Uh, trees available, which is the willow. It drops a lot of saplings and has a lot of wood. The wood's also very easy to chop down, so... It's probably the best. As for the rest of these, uh, chestnut's really good for building. Other than that, it's pretty much useless in burning and everything else, really. It's basically just a building material. Aspen, it has a pretty fast growing rate. It's somewhat good for building. I think it looks nice with a lot of the designs I have. And other than that, it's it burns okay. Uh, white cedar, pretty much only a building material. It doesn't produce enough wood to really become a, a viable source. And then you have, I think there's supposed to be birch around here. And ash. Ash is actually a pretty good uh, fuel source for starting out. Uh, I know there's oak nearby, but I can't remember which direction it was. I'm pretty sure it's to the north eastern, I guess. Hmm. Oh yeah, I do have that little skylight thing. I kind of like it. Uh, but yeah, that later on that cave I found will actually become pretty useful because caves are really a good source of finding starter metals. And later on it'll be actually a lot better. For now, I think I'm just going to convert these back into stones. Just because I really have no other use for them right now. And it's easier to store them in that, I think. Hello. How are you? They can't hit you, but you can hit them. So he returns here, only to shortly be vanquished, I'm pretty sure. And the sun will be up shortly, and I can't see him. There we go.
Well, whatever happened to him, I'll know shortly. Because dawn's approaching. Dawn is breaking. If you know that reference, well, good for you. Probably one of my favorite games. Dawn is breaking. Greet the new day. <laughs> Uh, other than that, pretty much there's no other use for these woods I have. And actually, I could show you what this looks like. This has kind of a pinkish hue to it, so I don't really much care for the ash for building material, but uh, chestnut's really got like a darker red to it. So I find it's pretty nice to work with. It's got like a royal red or something. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Should be another javelin up here somewhere. Or probably despawned by now. Uh, let's see. What's the temperature here? 19 degrees. Let's gather some reeds because we're probably going to need them. Yeah, finally they despawned. So we'll probably clear out some of this area now. Because I do intend to slowly take over this uh, area. Though it might take a little while. I have time. further back. But who cares? They'll eventually be at their throats. Don't want to get too caught up in that, but yeah. Other than that, uh, you got the basic idea of what the types of woods I use and basically what they're used for. Now I'm going to need a, quite a bit more clay. And, you know, I actually probably do want to get some of these chestnut trees started. Just so I can have a good supply of that. I also want some aspen too, but. Right now, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, dogs don't have any use right now. I think you could still actually get them with uh, bones, which actually might be a use. In fact, that's probably one of the best uses I can think of. The bones are still used for the dogs, then. Actually, I'm going to go test that out. Because it would actually be helpful. Because those dogs can still do quite a bit of damage, especially now. So they'll be actually a good early protection system. I just, I've never really found any dogs like this. Since I started playing for quite a while. Ever since the animal revamp, they really haven't done anything with them. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I guess they don't do anything. Oh well. It's not like I had a use for the bones anyway. Oh yeah, I'm probably going to skip a little bit of, uh, I'm going to probably end recording here, and in the next episode I'll probably have something started. Like, most of this area will be cut down, 
and whatever saplings I gather will be. Oh, uh, basically, I'll just lay the foundations for the my next setup. So yeah, I'll probably be actually setting the spawn to be near here too, just because this is probably the closest place they can actually live, and people can go and set their spawn later on. Beds are really hard to actually come by now, but we'll see. We got all the time in the world. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good day. See you.